Hello, I'm Valentina Colasanti, a linguist and an assistant professor in linguistics at Trinity College Dublin. I'm delighted to be able to tell you something about our degree in linguistics today. Linguistics isn't a subject you learn in school. However, the work of linguists has become more and more important in people's lives. For example, if you ever used Siri or Alexa or Google Translate, then you've already taken advantage from work that we linguists do. But high tech is only one of the many things that we linguists are involved in. Before I jump too far ahead, let's try to get a little taste of linguistics, as explained by two of our postgraduate students, Kate and Connor, which will talk about something a little bit more low tech, namely washing machines. How is it that a single phrase can have multiple meanings? And how do we as speakers communicate those different meanings to our listeners? Take, for instance, the phrase washing machines. Washing machines. Washing machines. Washing machines. Washing machines. Let's take a closer look at those using what we call spectrograms. Change in pitch is indicated by the blue line that you can see moving up and down. We can make that a little easier to read by laying some text on top for illustration. You can now see how pitch is moving over the course of those two words, washing and machines, in four different ways. Played in the context of a sentence, it's easier to hear how the meanings differ. I bought some washing machines. You bought washing machines? They were washing machines. They were washing machines? The top two sentences refer to machines for washing clothes, while the bottom two refer to the action of washing a machine. These differences are intuitive to us, they make sense, but we can go further in linguistics by identifying, quantifying and analysing our data. In phonetics, spectrograms, along with other methods and tools, allow us to do this to the physical speech signal. On the linguistics course, you will learn how to read spectrograms, just like the ones we've been looking at here. Along with the speech signal, our washing machines example touches on the grammatical structure of words and phrases and on issues of context and meaning. All of these and more are things you will have the opportunity to learn about on the linguistics course at Trinity. Today, I'm going to answer to four questions about our linguistics degree. What is linguistics? What will I study in the linguistics course at Trinity? How does linguistics fit with partner subjects? And finally, why should I study linguistics? Let's start with the first one. Language is everywhere. In books, in movies, in long conversation with a friend, in a short chat with a stranger, in snippets on the back of our pasta pack, or in our endless social media streams. Language is present throughout our lives. It's the first thing we encounter as babies, and it helps us communicate with others, which is basically what I'm trying to do right now. We can observe and study language just like any other natural phenomenon, and that's what linguistics is about. Linguists study language scientifically. In particular, we're interested in how people use language in a natural setting in the course of their day-to-day -day lives. We're interested in the big picture, we want to know how this unique human ability called language works in people's minds and brains. Why is it so central to our societies and cultures? What it tells us about what we share as humans, taking into consideration that language diversity and variety in the world. All these questions arise from the fact that all humans speak a spoken or a sign language. So in the linguistic course, you will learn to analyze language, taking into consideration different subparts of linguistic structure, namely phonetics, the study of individual sounds in spoken languages or hand shapes in sign languages, phonology, the study of how sounds and or hand shapes are combined into specific patterns, morphology, which is the study of the internal structure of words, syntax, the study of how words are combined together to make sentences, semantics, which is the study of meaning of words and sentences, and finally, pragmatics, which is the study of meaning of words and sentences in a conversation, or better, in an interaction. 
paired with other disciplines, such as sociology or history, for example, linguistics can also help us understanding how language affects and is affected by society, how language uh, changes across time, how it's processed by the brain, and also how we can teach and learn language more effectively, making use of knowledge of linguistic structure. To do linguistics research in all these aspects, for instance, doing a final year project in linguistics, we can observe people, ask them questions, ask them to participate in experiments, and we can work with also ancient texts, uh, very large digital databases, recordings from the media, or we can use our own judgments as native speakers. Linguists are interested in how and why people speak, but they're not interested in telling people how to speak correctly. Linguists will not tell you to avoid split infinitives or not to say like, or not to gesticulate while you're talking, which is basically what I'm doing right now. These are all facts about language that linguists describe and study objectively without any form of disapproval. Think about it. If you were studying animals as a zoologist, you wouldn't tell primates that they laugh wrong because they don't do it the way humans do. So here at Trinity, you can study linguistics as a joint honor subject with any one of the following disciplines. You can pair it with modern languages, classical languages, computer science, philosophy, Middle Eastern Jewish and Islamic civilizations. Linguistics patterns well with any one of the following languages, French, German, Irish, Russian, or Spanish, Greek or Latin in the study of classical languages, Hebrew, Arabic, and Turkish as part of the study of Middle Eastern Jewish and Islamic civilization. Whichever language you choose, studying linguistics will help you to see the features of your chosen language in the wider context of languages in general, to have a better understanding of why the grammar and the pronunciation of your chosen language works the way it does, understand how and why language differences emerge over time, and understand how people speak more generally. If your other subject is classical languages, knowledge of sound, word, and sentence patterns will assist you in your study of the grammar of ancient literatures. And the knowledge of the sociolinguistic phenomena of language change and language variation will help you to understand the factors which cause languages to evolve over a period of time. With Middle Eastern, Jewish, and Islamic civilization, knowledge of sociolinguistics will enhance your study of the cultures and societies of the Middle East and North Africa. While knowledge of theoretical linguistics will be of great benefit if you choose to study a Middle Eastern language, such as Hebrew, Arabic, or Turkish, whether modern or, an, or ancient. Or you can combine your passion for computers and language by studying linguistics with computer science. Both subjects require an inquisitive mind and a love for logic, reasoning, and problem solving. Linguistics and philosophy is a natural combination. Maybe you already know that philosophers were the first ones to study language in a more scientific way. Both subjects focus on understanding the mind and the reality around us. Semantics and pragmatics, for example, are branches of linguistics concerned with meaning and truth in language. These are also important concerns for philosophers. So linguists and philosophers have made important contribution to each other's disciplines. So why should you choose linguistics? Well, linguistics explores not only language itself, but also its relationship with communication, mind, society, philosophies, education, technology, to name just a few of them. Linguistic reasoning is very challenging, but also very rewarding. Bear in mind that linguistics is at the center of major debates about the human mind. It is, in fact, considered a cognitive science. So, I hope that this has given you some insights into the field of linguistics and the linguistics course at Trinity College Dublin. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us. We'd be delighted to talk to you.